A number of weeks ago, I had a dream, and in the dream, I heard the Lord say meditate on what IT would have been like for Mary to sit at my feet. And when he spoke those I saw Mary sitting at the feet of Jesus. Her face was full of wonder, it was full of awe, her eyes sparkled with life and adoration for Jesus. Now as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village. And a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. Luke 10 colon 38-42 ESV As I sat with the Lord and asked the Holy Spirit what He was saying, I felt an incredible invitation being extended to God's people right now to come deeper into that place of intimacy. There are many things that are attempting to take the focus of God's people and cage them in a place of distraction, but the Lord is wanting to bring His people into a deeper place of intimacy, a deeper place of focus upon Him, a deeper place of fortification of faith in listening to every word He speaks, Matthew hours minutes 4-4, and a place of deeper faith rest in the awe and wonder of who He is. I felt the Lord also releasing a loving warning to the church right now to not become so busy doing things for God and prioritizing the doing rather than the being. The Lord is wanting to bring His people deeper into a place of humility, surrender and joy in the revelation that we are invited to be friends of God and sit at His feet and listen to His voice. I heard the Lord say, Many have traded the sacred space for the public place. It is very important right now, more than ever, to prioritize the secret place. To prioritize your time with the Lord. To prioritize the time sitting at His feet. The Lord is exposing areas of the heart where affection has been for public view, and He is purging and refining and raising up a remnant who are not living for public view, but delight and find their life in the audience of ONE, and they live in the daily joy in the awe and wonder of who Jesus is. The Lord is bringing His people deeper into the place of first love like we have never experienced before. This is a time to truly take time to listen. This is a time to draw close to Jesus. To not rush ahead and to come deeper into a revelatory understanding of Jesus' words in Luke 10 colon 42. One thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. The good portion, which will not be taken away from her. Take some time this week with the Lord and meditate on what it would have been like for Mary to sit at the feet of Jesus. Dive deep in Luke 10 colon 38-42 and allow the Holy Spirit to speak to you. I prophesy, a new world of awe and wonder of who Jesus is, is opening up to you. I prophesy a time of incredible refreshment, healing, joy, and clarity in His presence. I prophesy as you look into the one whose eyes are like flames of fire, your heart will burn with greater first love fire, deep adoration of him as the revelation of Jesus unfolds in your life in deeper ways. I hear the words marked by why wonder. Get ready to be marked by the wonder of who he is in a deeper way. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. 1 Corinthians Hours Minutes 2-2 ESV For while I was with you I was determined to be consumed with one topic, Jesus, the crucified Messiah. 1 Corinthians Hours Minutes 2-2 TPT